So in this video, we're going to be talking about a free Blender add-on called Buildify. Now this is a free procedural building generator that can be used to generate buildings very easily. But what makes this add-on really unique is that it has support for Blender over some add-on. And that add-on is this one over here, the Blender Open Street Map and Terrain for Blender. And this can be used to obtain a simple 3D geometry of any place and you can use this tool with the Buildify tool to kind of easily create a very large world almost instantly. Both of these are free so this one is also free over here and in the Blender you can see I already had downloaded this. So if I were to go to the layout page over here if you wanted to create this building from scratch you first had to create a plane by pressing shift A I'm just going to move this over here and then in here I'm going to go to the modifiers tab add a modifier then add a geometry nodes and click on this icon over here and then select building and now you have this mesh over here and the way you control the buildings in here is by controlling the plane underneath it alright so I'm just going to scale this You can see the building scales automatically. So if I were to go to edge selection, then I'm just gonna scale this down automatically. The building also rescales. I can also extrude from here. So I'm just gonna extrude it like this. Something to remember while using this is that the plane over here must always be flat. No, you're using this add on. So if, you, so if I were to just change the position, the Z axis, you can see it creates all kind of distortion. Like the procedural generation is kind of not working properly. All the buildings and everything is coming out. So you can increase the height of the buildings by going into the modifiers tab over here. You can increase the maximum number of floors. So if I were to increase this, it's going to increase the number of floors in our building. You can also increase the module width. But yeah, that creates all kinds of distortions. You can see there is these gaps forming in here. But yeah, again, it's there, it's there for those that need it. Now you can also modify or change the meshes being used inside it by going into the modules over here. So if I were to just disable this plane over here, go over here and then remove the mesh you can see some of the meshes being used over here these are the meshes being used and these are all stored in the modules over here so you can see everything is properly labeled in here trying to add your own meshes in this building generator is a little bit difficult every single meshes must be of the same scaling must be of the same rotation must be properly positioned inside these modules over here so you have to replace each of these meshes over here. You can also modify the meshes directly if you want. So if I were to just scale this like this. Now if I were to add the mesh back again. You can see it up starts to appear like this. All our modifications start to appear over here. So again you can directly modify these pieces to kind of create your own custom geometry or you can import your own and if you're importing your own you can also like create your own separate modules for this just make sure to kind of link each of the each of those modules in the geometry nodes so if i were to go in back into geometry nodes you can see for the flat roof you have the appropriate meshes that are linked over here all the modules are linked over here you have to relink whatever module you're using inside these again there is more information about this in the documentation which you can access by clicking on this link over here you will go to the documentation and in here it properly explains how to do this called under replacing modules and yeah that's about it thanks for watching and see you later bye